Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the brush tool in Lightroom. Theme tune! Do 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 do. Ba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba ba Woo! <laughs> ah, so this dance is getting more ridiculous now. That there was Rosie White from dancelovely.com. If you want to learn dancing, then go to her YouTube channel. But this is photography, so I don't know why you'd want to learn to dance. She doesn't teach me my routines, by the way, just to let you know. Anyway, so we're going to be talking about the brush tool in Lightroom and how to use it. So let's jump into Lightroom and have a look. So we're going to be using this photograph of Rosie today from Dance Lovely. So I've done a little bit of a basic edit already so that we can be working on this. The brush tool is up here in the right hand corner and essentially it allows you to do most of the different things that you have inside the basic panel on the side. The, this section here, the presence, so it does your saturation and the clarity and it also allows you to do things like dehaze within this, okay, and then your sharpness as well. So what exactly is it? Well essentially it allows you to add these sections, the, these effects, but just to certain areas. So, so for example exposure, let's look at this. Boost the exposure here, it does the entire image, right? So let's pull the exposure down. It's done absolutely everything. But if we come back to here and then I go into the brush tool and then I bring back the exposure, okay? And then what, what happens? Essentially, all I do is I paint it on. And you can see it's painting on that exposure difference just for wherever I paint it on. There you go. Now, I, essentially, I added kind of a vignette to this. So let's just delete that. Now, a great tip for this thing here, if you've just been doing lots of edits to something and your tool looks something like this, and then you restart the tool to add something else and it looks like this, the easy way to reset is double click effect and it resets all of these things. So what else might you use the brush tool for? Well, you can make the brush size really big like so, or you could make it really small. Okay, so that means that you can use it for some awesome detailing. So let's come into the eyes and let's say you want to use it on the eyes. Okay, so all you have to do is click this and let's, for example, make these eyes a little bit brighter and then we're going to add some extra brown to them. Okay, I wouldn't necessarily do this to this image, but let's just quickly do that. Paint that on and paint that on. Okay, and then let's come out of the tool, brush tool and look at the before and the after, and you can see here that the eyes now have been completely changed, which looks amazing. So let's come back in here and I'm actually gonna just delete that. So you can do so many different things with the brush tool, but I want to give, I want to show you all the different sections of it. So for example, let's go here and you say you want to, let's do that exposure change, okay? So let's double click reset by clicking effect up here. Bring the exposure down and let's, for example, say we're going to add on this all the way around the outside like so, okay? But what I accidentally do is I go, ooh, I've just gone past the model, over the model. So you might want to delete that one section. Now, fortunately, that's really easy. Under mask, okay, we have an edit button, okay? So inside edit, you come to the bottom and you click erase. So now what you, you're doing essentially is you're erasing it. So if I hit flow to 100%, I can literally erase that brush from that one section. Hitting O will show you where the mask is. So wherever it's red, is these effects are taking, the, these changes are taking effect. Okay, O again, it shows me exactly where it is. Now other things that I have down here is feather, so what that does is it essentially adds an edge to it or not. So you can see here I have these two lines. And watch when I drag this, the outer line changes, okay? So let me just delete everything that we have and let me show you what that does. So we're on a new one and then we're going to bring this exposure down. I'm going to bring the contrast up because I want to make this really clear, okay? Like so. So now if I was to come in here and have my feather set to zero and I just push down here, okay? What you can essentially see here, let's see if I can make this a little bit easier to, to actually, 
um, C. There you go. So you can see it's a really hard edge on this. It's like rock solid. But if I was to then change my feathering to the opposite side, let's do another circle just up here. You ready? And I can keep on clicking this and you can see essentially it's just fading out. Now that's what the feather does. It ends, it basically feathers the very edge. So let's come out of this and let's see the next thing. So let's keep our feathering at zero so we can show this and let's have flow set at 50. So what this does is essentially allows you to build it up. So if I was to paint here at 50, oh, like here, okay. And then I go next to it here and then I go 50. And then I go next to it here what it's actually doing is the more I click is it's building up layers. And you can see that wherever it's overlapping, okay, which is in these sections here and here, it's darker. That's because essentially I'm layering, and let's just do this again up here. You can see that the outside here, and then let's create another one next to it here. Essentially what I'm doing is building up layers and you can see that that is what the effect will be by using the flow. Pulling the flow down means that each time I paint, essentially what it does is it only puts on uh, half the opacity and it's actually not half at 50, it's way, way less than that. So you have to keep on clicking it to be able for it to take full effect. So let's just delete that one. So that's the, essentially the basic elements of it. But then you can do all sorts of things. So let's, for example, let's, let's use it on this image again. You can use it to dodge and burn. I have a whole dodge and burning tutorial. But if I was to boost my contrast, boost my clarity, and bring down my shadows, okay? And then I'm going to make it a nice soft brush, flow at 50. I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to look at the model. Oh, let's go just fill. And all I'm going to do is on all the dark areas is I'm going to paint. Okay, I'm gonna do this really quickly. So I'm gonna just paint over her like so. And then I'm going to create a new one and like so. And this time I'm gonna boost up the brightness, boost up the highlights and the shadows like so. And then I'm gonna do all the highlighted sections. Okay, I'm rushing this. But you see I'm making really specific edits here, okay? So now let's look at the, let's just come out of this and look at the before and the after. Before, the after. See, I've made these localized effects to the image, which is really simple. The great thing about the brush tool, I can come in, at any point I can click on one of these, I can see by hitting O what the edit is, and I can then make an edit to it. So for example, I can bring my exposure way up on those sections, okay? I wouldn't want to but or I can take it way down, you see? And then I can click on this one where I made the edits, okay, which is the darks, and I can then make these darks come all the way down. So you can see here, I'm actually affecting what I'm doing and I can change the effect by clicking on it or amazingly click on it, I can delete. Click on it and I can delete. Now the other thing that I can do, let me just quickly show you the final element here, which is, let's boost the exposure up again. And I can say, oh, I want to boost the, this model, okay? I don't like what it, I don't like the effect it has. Let's just add blue to her, like so. And go, oh, that looks great. But actually, I don't want it on the model. I want the blue to be over here. Now, I don't have to rub this out by hitting erase and rub it out and then paint it back in. All I have to do is click on this and I can just move it. By hitting O, I can see this area here, I can just move it. I can move those elements around really easily. Now, the other thing that I can do is I can duplicate it. So for example, let's, let's create a really, really bright spot over here, okay? So I went really yellow on this side, okay? Now, I might want to do the same thing over here but not have it quite as yellow. So if I just right click on this and hit duplicate, then I take it over this side, okay, fantastic, then I'm gonna bring this one down to blue. So essentially it's kept all my other settings, but I've managed to duplicate this one effect, okay? Doesn't look great, so I'll delete those elements. So you can see the power of the brush tool in Lightroom is amazing. You can make changes, 
to certain areas of, of an image. You can then adjust those things in terms of the size of the area that you're going to affect at a time and add in the feathering. You can build it up in layers by using flow and then you can go back in and edit anything that you want by clicking on one of the circles or you can duplicate those and you can make multiples of the same thing. So that is how powerful the brush tool is in Lightroom. Now, if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and definitely subscribe. Loads more videos coming. Hi, this is Ed. <laughs> it's funny with you there. Uh, a gag. Hi, this a is gag. okay. Right. No, <laughs> come on, come on. Mm. Ah, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> come on. It's hard with you over here. No, uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com, and today I'm going to teach you. <laughs> I'm looking at what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, it's just funny because you're right there. I fell in front of her. No, <laughs> you're still there. Does <laughs> 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 anyone else shake thing? Come on. Here we go. Hi, this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com, and today I'm going to show you how to use the brush tool in Lightroom. Theme tune. Do 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 I was about to! Okay. Okay, let's go again. You ready? Right, because we need to practice that now because now okay. we're going to mess that up. Okay, come here. You see? That way. That's why I win! Okay. Here we go. Let's try this again. Okay, we're going to do it again. Because I can hear you so loud in the background. Yeah, it's like, kush, 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 kush. This was Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com. Thank you. Boom. Finished!